All right, guys, J.A. Prada Performance. Not going to make a big deal out of this, but this is important, and you need to be aware of this. There, okay, we're looking at a C4. We're looking at the intermediate servo. So there's a couple things, and the topic of this is safety. Okay, I've seen some issues, pretty scary. And what happens is the car can lock up on a 2-3 shift. Uh, not good. So the reason this happens, first of all, there's a modification on the internet that goes around. And I think some of the guys that make manual valve bodies and things tell you to do this. So what you do, this hole here, okay, this is a vent hole. It's a little notch here, and this vents back into the case. And I talked about this in another video because this is an issue with a C6 also. I think I covered it in that C6 one. But so a lot of times this hole gets plugged, and they tell you to take one of the seals off the servo. Well, I'm not saying that doesn't work, and I'm not saying that causes the bind up, but. What happens is somebody will come along later and change the valve body, change the servo, and this hole remains blocked and they don't realize it. So make sure, and you can even see, if you look, you can see light through it, okay? That hole should be very open. Make sure that is. Um, and by the way, if you're using any of our valve bodies or an OEM valve body, I don't care if it's got a, you know, modification kit in it or whatever, but don't, don't do this. Don't, don't block this hole and don't take one of the seals off the piston, okay? Very important with our stuff and the stock one. Somebody else's manual valve body or trans brake, that, that's different. You, you got to go by what they say. So anyways, another thing that happens, there is a very popular C4 servo out there. I won't give names, but I'm going to show you how to recognize it. And there could be others too, so rather than sitting here and talking brands, I'm going to show you designs. Alright, see on this cover, it's got an O-ring seal, and it's got a little hole here that bypasses that o-ring seal. First of all, this bypasses this o-ring. You don't need this o-ring. I don't know why people put this here. It makes no sense. But the servo I'm talking about, they put the o-ring and they don't put this hole. They don't bypass it. This will cause that bind up I'm talking about. Yeah, I get it, this, you know, you put this here and you don't have pressure, you know, or, or you have very little shot of this gasket here ever leaking. Uh, there should be no pressure there, but, you know, if you're doing the modification I just described, you know, where you're taking one seal off and plugging the hole in the case, yeah, you can put an O-ring here without this hole. But again, I you know I don't even want to go over that because I don't I don't recommend that. It's just you know other people do. If you're using their valve body, will follow their instructions. But I'm just going to talk about my stuff and I'm going to talk about Ford stuff. So I don't don't go don't do those modifications. But anyways, this here you don't need this damn O-ring. I, I don't understand why so many people do it. So I take it off, I throw it in the trash. Okay? It's by this is bypassed anyways. So you're not losing any sealing ability. But what you're doing, the hole's kind of small. If you get a fair amount of leakage through one of these seals, these O-ring seals for the servo piston, you know over time seals shrink and harden up and they don't seal very well. You don't you don't need this thing hydrolocking on you. And that's what'll happen. We need to vent this dead zone off. And 
you know, maybe you just have a bad seal or, you know, maybe you just put it together with the wrong seal or something and you go for a test drive and it locks up in the two, three shift. This can happen. I've heard of this happening with customers and it's uh, servo issues. It can be scary, you know. So anyways, this one here, I don't make this servo. I need to make these servos, but who has time? Um, so what I did, I'm not going to put the O-ring on here. So if you ever see one of my units and you see an empty O-ring groove here, oh, you forgot the O-ring. No, I didn't forget the O-ring. Don't put the O-ring. Don't think you're going to outguess me on that. You're going to cause a problem. Now, I added this slot here. May not be necessary, but this slot lines up with the vent hole. Okay, you know, this hole here, plus not putting the seal on, is probably enough to vent off an issue. But I want to make sure. I don't want this thing locking up in the 2-3 shift on you. I'm sure you don't want that either. So just in case, you know, time gets to a seal or you put a bad seal in it or something, um, I, I add this slot here just to... Make sure we got plenty of oil flow to, you know, make sure we're venting off any of that leakage. You know, things leak, whether you like to think so or not. But it's okay if things leak internally. You just have to know how to deal with fluid going in the wrong place, if you will. And, and fluid will go in the wrong place. So that's what I've done here. That's why I've done it. So if you see one of these servos and it's got the O-ring and it doesn't have the hole that bypasses it, be very leery. Okay, I want you to understand this. Uh, you can also reference that C6 servo video that I did. That explains this also. Maybe I did a better job explaining it in that video, but I probably need to draw this for you. I may have done that in the other video. I don't remember now, but... Uh, in any case, just a safety concern. This isn't really a performance modification. Uh, it's just 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 for safety. So, okay, that's all I have to say about that. I wanted to bring that to your attention because it's something that concerns me, and I've seen people get in trouble with this. So, uh, just be aware and always make sure. Unless told otherwise, always make sure this hole is clear. C4, C6, C5, same thing. Okay, thanks for watching.